My name is Alex. I might not be the best person to say this about myself, but kindness is really my only redeeming quality. Still, there's one thing I can brag about. That's the fact that my girlfriend, Iris, who I've been dating since high school, is basically model-level gorgeous. That night, Iris and I had dinner together and had some drinks, so we were walking home. Hey, hey, man, hold up a second. Hey. Don't just ignore us. Ha. Huh? Are you talking to me? I think you got the wrong person. There's no way I got it wrong. You bumped into my shoulder when you passed by. Don't try to play dumb, I got proof. Proof? Are you talking about just your own feelings or something? Don't get cocky, you. My office is right around here, and we've got security cameras out front. So yeah, we got proof that you bumped into me. Wait, are you guys part of the group that operates around here? If that's the case, then all the more reason to just let us go. It's really not a good idea for you to mess with me or my girlfriend. What the hell are you saying? Do you think that kind of talk works on gang like us? This isn't some manga or anime. You nerd types wouldn't understand. And look at this guy walking around with a smoking hot girlfriend. Hey, nerd. Don't you think she's way out of your league? Yeah, you might be right about that. Anyway, please let us through. I'm sorry if I bumped into you. I had a bit too much to drink, so honestly. I didn't even notice. Oh. And you think an apology's gonna cut it? If that were the case, we wouldn't need the cops, now would we? And since you're drunk, there's no way I can believe anything you're saying. Don't push your luck. Now get on your knees and bow right here. Isn't that going a bit far? Can you let go of my shirt? If I report this to the police, you're the ones who'll be in trouble. The next moment, a sharp pain shot through my head. When I came to, I was lying face down on the ground. See, if you just bowed right away, this wouldn't have happened. You had to go and make it difficult, so I had to get rough. Why is it that every single one of you nerds doesn't understand power dynamics? It's too late to apologize now. Like I said, I already apologized. Do you have any idea what you're getting into? Ha! Huh. You've still got the nerve to talk back? How about another round then? I raised my head, and another dull pain coursed through me. Come on, you want more of this? Just bow and get it over with, it'll be easier for you. What do you think, girl? You agree with me, don't ya? Look at her, she's just standing there, not even trying to help. Maybe she's not even really his girlfriend, just some rental or something? For real? So, if he's paying, that means I get a turn, right? Isn't that right, you pathetic nerd? Answer me. Ah. Please, stop kicking me. I won't let you lay a finger on her. Whatever you do to me, it's pointless. Ha! Huh? And why should I listen to some loser like you? A nerd like you can't be walking around with a girl like her. Come on, stop trying to act tough. She's already seen you at your worst. Honestly, you should be more embarrassed about looking so pathetic. This isn't about embarrassment. Just don't touch her. I promised her father that I'd support her. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So you just want to keep making a fool of yourself, huh? And not protect her, but support her, you say. I'm telling you, that's not what this is about. Alright, enough. 
Just shut up and stay down. Exactly. Now, I'm gonna have some fun with your girlfriend. As the two gangs slowly moved toward Iris, I forced myself up on my wobbly legs, placing myself between them and Iris. Please, just stop. I don't care what happens to me, just don't touch her. You'd be better off not doing this, trust me. What the hell are you talking about? For our sake? Don't you dare talk down to us. You're just some nerd with no right to lecture us. Honestly, I've had enough of your pathetic attitude. Now move, unless you want more pain. Nobody wants to see a man crying like a coward. None of that matters anymore. This isn't about pride or pain, it's about her. And you don't want this pain either, right? I'm thinking of you too. Shut up. If you keep getting in our way, we won't go easy on you this time. We're gonna go all out. If that means you'll leave her alone, then so be it. I won't let you touch her. Big words. But listen, that's not courage, that's recklessness. No matter how much you shout, nothing beats raw power. With that, they came at me, throwing punches and kicks. Barely conscious, I gritted my teeth and endured the pain. Iris. Forget about me and run while you can. I can't do that. There's no time to argue. Do it for me. Hey, he's still talking big. Is he just that tough, or has he lost all feeling? Why are you still trying to act tough after getting beaten up this badly? It's actually embarrassing, so just stop. Come on, we're not done here. Get up. You said you didn't care what happened to you, so you better not be giving up this easily. Please, just stop already. You're gonna break my bones. I didn't think you'd go this far without worrying about people watching. Of course not. That's exactly what we're here for. Beating you to a pulp is the goal, so we're not stopping. The girl's just an afterthought. First, we're gonna make sure you can't get back up. No way. Iris. Please, just run. Even then, Iris continued to stare at me in shock, her delicate hands trembling. The gang didn't let up, relentlessly throwing punches at me. And then... Hey! Looks like we're done here. Presenting, the completely wrecked man. Come on, if you can stand up, give it a shot. Your beautiful girlfriend's watching too. She wants to see if you can get back on your feet. After confirming I was down, the two started walking toward Iris. And then, they finally touched her. Hey there, sweetheart, why don't you have some fun with us? That wimp can't satisfy you. But me, I can take you to heaven. Yeah, don't forget about me. The ladies have always loved me. Iris. My whisper was in vain as the gang laid their hands on Iris's shoulder. Don't you dare touch me. The moment they touched her, one of the gang was sent flying through the air. Hey! Matt, are you alright? What the hell just happened? I, I don't know. The moment I touched her, my body just felt weightless. Hey, woman! What did you do to Matt? We just touched your shoulder. Ouch. You made me hurt my back. This won't end with just one hit, you know. Don't you feel ashamed of yourselves? Ha! Huh? What are you talking about? And let me tell you, I just wasn't ready. Everyone knows men are stronger than women. If that's what you believe, how long do you plan to keep talking like that? after being thrown by a woman you look down on? 
I can't stand guys like you all talk and no backbone. Who do you think you're talking to, you bitch? Do you even know who we are? We told you, our office is right around the corner. You're not from around here, are you? We belong to the Sullivan Group, just down the street. If you apologize now, we might let you off after we're done with you. Yeah, if you don't want to end up like that guy, you'd better apologize now. Otherwise, we'll take you to the coast and leave you there as a warning. Excuse me? You two should be the ones apologizing. Beating someone up like that and acting like it's nothing? Haven't you learned not to do to others what you wouldn't want done to you? Or is it some rule in your group that says, the weak must be dominated by force? Enough! You clearly don't know how scary we can be. If words don't get through to you, then maybe a more physical approach will. The man called Matt, who had fallen on his backside, got up and started approaching Iris step by step, his posture threatening. Iris's eyes narrowed. And she prepared herself. Oh no. Ha! Huh? You're still conscious? That's strange, I was sure I knocked you out. This isn't the time for that. Are you the underling here? If you value your life, call your boss immediately. Only the boss can handle this. What makes you think you can order me around? You want another round of pain to shut you up? Now's not the time for this. If you don't call in right now, things are going to get really bad. I can't move, I can't do anything. Hurry. Shut up already. Do I need to hurt you more for you to listen? Do you think I'd say this for my own sake? I'm telling you this to keep you from ending up in serious trouble. Ha! Huh? Let me tell you, Matt is strong. He can handle any woman easily. Watch closely, in just a few more steps, she'll be on the ground. The gang underling stomped on my right hand and yelled, but at that moment, with a loud thud, Matt was knocked down. Ha! Huh? Why is Matt on the ground again? I told you not to touch me. Apologize. Apologize to my man. You think you can get away with what you did to him? I'll make sure you regret it. Even more than he suffered. Hey, hey, what the hell is going on? How is Matt getting beaten up like that? That's what I was trying to tell you. It's not too late. Call the office now and get someone here. What? Oh, okay. I hate taking orders from you, but I can't handle this myself. Saying this, the gang underling pulled out his phone and started calling their office. I don't know who she is, but this insanely beautiful woman is beating the crap out of Matt. What? Her name? I don't know. She's just kicking the hell out of him. No way I'm jumping in, I'd end up with broken bones too. Just send someone here, anyone. Who's coming? The boss is out, but he's supposed to be back soon, not sure when exactly. So they're sending the second in command. The second in command. He'll do. How do you know about the second in command? And what's with that look on your face, like you know something? Are you connected to our group? I'm not part of the group, but let's just say I know a bit about it. Oof, so you're not giving me a straight answer, huh? While they were talking, Matt was still taking several kicks from Iris. Hey, who is that woman? I've fought a lot of people before, but I'd never seen anyone kick like that. Well, she's. Wait. Miss, what are you doing? Looks like I don't need to say anything. Kyle, the second in command, 
will explain everything. Ah, you're really a mystery, you know that. Miss, please calm down. Matt's already out cold. If you go any further, it'll be bad. Don't stop me. I don't care if he's unconscious. This guy beat up my man. And then he dared to touch me. Only my father and Alex are allowed to touch me. I get it. I get it. But if you don't stop soon, Matt's going to be permanently crippled. Even your father would be upset about that. Shut up. Iris broke free from the second in command's hold and raised her foot toward the unconscious Matt again. At that moment, the Sullivan boss grabbed Iris's arm and pulled her back. Dad? What are you doing? I can't forgive this guy. I have to beat him to a pulp. Miss, please look at him. Matt is already battered and unconscious. There's not much more beating up you can do. But I'm not satisfied. I won't stop until he can't get up again. Come on, please stop already. Mr. Sullivan, please tell your daughter to stop. If word gets out that Iris beat up a member, it'll only weaken the group's reputation. What? Sullivan's daughter? You. Why didn't you say anything? There wasn't exactly time for that, was there? I did tell you that you should stop. Anyone could say that. You need to be more aware of the danger around you. Uh, you're not exactly one to talk about that. Anyway, we need to wake him up while the boss and the second in command are holding her back. Damn it, this is a real mess. He finally lifted his foot off my hand and rushed over to Matt to wake him up. Hey! Matt! Wake up! This isn't the time to be lying around. Ah! What happened? I touched that woman, got blown away, then kicked. She kept kicking you until you passed out. Are you hurt? Any broken bones? I... I don't know. Everything hurts too much. And why are Mr. Sullivan and the second in command holding her back? Did they come to rescue me? They didn't come to save you. Both the boss and the second in command came to help the miss. If a punk like you tarnishes her reputation, that's a big problem. Ha! Huh? What do you mean? Why are they helping her instead of me? Did I hit my head and start losing my mind? No, it's not that. Apparently, she's the daughter of Mr. Sullivan. I realized that when I saw how the second in command and the boss reacted. We might have messed with the wrong person. What? Sullivan's daughter? That can't be right. Sure, she's a damn fine woman, but Mr. Sullivan? I mean, look at him, he's like a raccoon. You bastard. What the hell are you saying? Do you know who you're talking about? If it's not the miss, then I'll be the one to make you wish you were never born. Ah. Sorry. I didn't mean to say it. You didn't mean to say it means you were thinking it. Brace yourself, Matt. I'm about to break every one of those teeth you're so proud of. Sorry. I'll apologize too, so please let this go. His head still not clear from getting beaten up. Forgiveness isn't that easy. And on top of that, you were ordered not to lay a hand on civilians. You not only broke that rule, but you also tried to mess with the miss. You know what happens now, don't you? No, I really didn't know. This all started because that guy bumped into us. 
you're still on that? Didn't we tell you when you first joined the group to quit these petty tricks? Do you even understand why Mr. Sullivan made the rule don't mess with civilians? Come to think of it, why? I know the rule, but not the reason behind it. You idiots. Have you learned nothing while being part of our group? Have you ever seen Mr. Sullivan argue with civilians even once? Have we, the higher-ups, ever ruled over you by force? No, never. Yeah, mostly what we do is patrol the town and talk to people. Is this really the work of the gang? I always wondered. As a group, we're gang, but what we do is more like private security. And do you know why? It's because Mr. Sullivan hates the gang. What? But he's a gang himself. How can he hate the gang? That's just absurd. Yeah, I mean, he looks so intimidating and perfectly fits the role of a gang. I was terrified to even look at him when I first joined. You two need to stop judging people by their looks. And by the way, that so-called weakling boyfriend of the miss that you beat up? He's a black belt in karate. What? There's no way that weakling is a black belt. He didn't resist at all when we were beating him up. There are different styles of karate, you know. Alex is more into kata, and he's even ranked first in the prefecture. It's not really meant for actual combat, so he's probably not that great in a fight. Or maybe he just didn't fight back because he knew it would escalate things with you guys. No way. That nerd-looking guy is a karate black belt. And that insanely beautiful woman is Sullivan's daughter. Judging people by appearances is why you guys are still at the bottom, even after all these years. You should learn to look at someone's character instead. Or maybe you should leave the group? We don't need narrow-minded people like you. No, please, don't fire me. No one else would hire someone like me. Me too. Please let me stay in the group. I'll train myself not to judge people by their looks anymore. But why is she so strong? With a face like that, I didn't think she'd need to be. Just as Matt voiced his question, Iris, who had finally calmed down, ran over to me. Sorry, I went overboard again. It's okay. I couldn't do anything either. It's not your fault, Alex. You tried to protect me, didn't you? Let me see your injuries. That handkerchief was a gift from your dad, wasn't it? It'll get stained with my blood. It'll wash out, don't worry about it. Now, let me see your face. Iris gently wiped my wounds with the handkerchief. Behind her, Matt and Nick were still crouching down talking with Mr. Sullivan and the second-in-command. Iris was strong like me from a young age. I sent her to preschool, but she kept getting into trouble with her classmates. I told her strength isn't meant for that. It's not something to use recklessly for your own sake. But maybe because I was raising her alone. She didn't listen to me. So, I put her in a dojo to learn martial arts, to teach her how to use her strength correctly and to learn discipline. That explains why she's so strong. Makes sense. Well, it was also to keep the wrong kind of guys away from her since she's too cute. Yeah, with her being that strong, no one would dare. And now, she's dating a karate black belt, right? Alex isn't with Iris just because of that. He's got his own qualities. You wouldn't understand, since you judge people by their looks. Anyway, you two tried to lay hands on the boss's daughter. You should be ready to face the consequences. That's right. You went after my daughter. 
I hate using force, but this is unavoidable. No. We realize our mistakes. We swear it won't happen again. Me too. I'll make sure to see people for who they are, not just their appearance. Please, just let us off this once. What's the point of apologizing to us? There's someone else you should be apologizing to. Mr. Sullivan pointed firmly at Iris and me, and Matt and Nick turned to face us. Damn it. I'm sorry. I took advantage of the fact that you weren't fighting back. I know an apology isn't enough, but please, forgive us. Yeah, I apologize too. I provoked Matt and called you names like Nerdy Loser. I promise it won't happen again. Please, just this once. Forgive us. Matt, battered and bruised, bent down, and with Nick, bowed his head to me. It's fine. I'm covered in scrapes and bruises, but I'm alive, and Iris doesn't seem hurt either. What? You're really going to forgive them? If I don't, they'll lose their jobs, right? It's just some scrapes and bruises, so it's not about forgiving or not. Alex, you're too kind. That's why you were ostracized in high school. But because of that, you weren't ostracized anymore, right, Iris? It was for the best. I just wanted you to have a good school life. Maybe, but still. So, this time too, it's not something to get all worked up about. Matt, Nick, I'm over it. Just don't go around beating people up for no reason anymore. Thank you, you've saved us. Miss, I'm sorry too. Don't apologize to me. Apologize properly to Alex. They already did. It's fine, Iris. Calm down. No, I can't forgive them. The only reason they're in this state is because they went after you, Alex. I won't be satisfied with this. You too. Brace yourselves again. Miss? That's enough. All right, you too, let's go. Iris. I'm really fine. It's my fault for looking so weak. And really, I'm not that badly hurt. No. I won't let this go. People like them need a proper beating to learn. Just as Iris was about to charge forward, Mr. Sullivan grabbed her arm, holding her back, while the second in command led the two away. Matt was later taken to the hospital, where they found he had fractured his left arm and ribs, so he was admitted. When the second in command informed Iris of this, it seemed to calm her down a bit. I was also covered in bruises, but thanks to Iris's diligent care, I recovered quickly. I feel kind of pathetic. Maybe I should start martial arts again. You don't need to be strong, Alex. You just need to be kind. I'm strong, but my heart is weak, so I need you to cover for that. But in situations like this, I can't protect you with just kata. You don't need to worry about that. My dad just needs to manage the members better. I just need you by my side. When strength is needed, I'll protect you. I felt a little pathetic hearing those words from Iris. But if that's what Iris wanted, I silently promised myself that I would continue to support her tender heart from now on.